Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. Today, I'm gonna to show you a really fast, easy trick to reduce friction on your filament spool holder for your 3D printer. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna do a shameless plug. I have a Kickstarter currently running for FDM-designed 3D printable miniatures. Um, these miniatures are designed to print on an FDM printer without using slicer support. So this dragon, uh, fantasy miniatures like this, the campaign is linked in the video description below. Uh, if you are so inclined and would like to uh, support the campaign, that helps me continue doing cool stuff like this channel to help all of you. So um, that said, let's get started. What we're gonna do is use standard Teflon plumbing tape uh, to wrap around the filament spool spindle. Uh, what you wanna do is wrap the tape in the direction that the spool is going to turn. That way the spool is not uh, unwinding the Teflon tape. And I apologize for my voice. I know it's a little froggy today. I'm just getting over a cold. Um, but what you wanna do is wrap this really good, the entire width of uh, the spindle. And what this will do, and you can even put it on a filament guide as I'm showing here. But what this will do is reduce the friction. Now, I know there are some outstanding um, spool holder designs on Thingiverse, and they are fantastic. I'm not saying this is better than those. This is simply easier than those. Um, those require you to print them. They usually require extra hardware, like bearings and such. They work fantastic, and they really are the absolute best uh, option for a uh, spool holder. But if you don't want to go to all that trouble and you want something that's going to work almost as well, this is it. So anyways, uh, one last thing. This is not my idea. I've had about, I think, four people contact me with this uh, recently since I started the channel. Um, I've tried it for about a month now on a couple of my Ender 3s and my CR20, and it works great. So that's why I'm doing the video now. I wanted to make sure there wasn't any hiccups with it or anything before I recommended it to you to do so. Uh, thank you for watching. Please click that support button. And if you would, check out our Kickstarter. Thank you.